to reflect on the career of the junkyard dog. Let's go to that right now, Brian. You know, fans out there, you know, uh, I'm in a big battle with Wolfie D right now, but, you know, I need to take uh, time out, and everybody out at home needs to take time out just for a few seconds, you know, to pay our condolences uh, to uh, the junkyard dog. He passed away June 2nd and uh, in a car wreck on the way to his uh, uh, daughter's graduation. Um, you know, the junkyard dog, he was a, a big hero of mine, as well as a, a bunch of my friends out there. They all know him, too, you know, and we all looked up to him. We watched him, you know, along with Andre the Giant and a bunch of the other folks out there. And uh, these were the people that we looked up to. And uh, these are the people that we're going to miss. Uh, Junkyard Dog, you know, uh, he was the first uh, big man uh, <clears throat> to go out and do all the charity work for all the kids out there and stuff. You know, he was a big, tough guy, but, you know, he, he always had time to help out, you know, his fans and the kids and, and done a lot of uh, charity work out there. You know, you fans out there kind of... Uh, Forget about, you know, what life's all about, you know, until uh, it comes up and bites you in the butt. Um, you know, this is kind of hard to say and everything. This is the first time I've ever had to do anything like this. And uh, I just I want all y'all folks out there to know, you know, that we're really going to miss the junkyard dog and, you, and his family. I hope uh, y'all you all have my blessings. Please take care. Come see the Fargo Strut at the 